Hello, welcome to the next edition of Sweet Decks. I got either 5-0 or performed quite well in a challenge slash tournament. I got six decks to talk about. Some of them have some interesting concepts behind them that I have not seen really take form in Pioneer. So it's kind of intriguing to see actually how competitive these lists are. If any of these lists interest you, let me know down in the comment section and I'll make sure to take a, take a note of it and maybe try it for a Monday special. Now today, um, I'm kind of I'm gonna start out of the gate with the deck that got a 5-0 yesterday or today, one of those two, and we're gonna go from there. So let's get into the deck list. So first on my list is a Golgari mid-range list. Interestingly enough, it's playing a whole totally different game plan. This is about enchantments. So we have Stessen Champion to draw extra cards. We have Spiteful Hex Mage as a way to put a 1-1 curse, potentially draw a card with Champion. And then the Champion, I guess you don't really care if you put the thing on it, right? Because it's a 1-1 base power. You're not really playing Champion for the toughness. It just grows um, beyond. So that is a very interesting synergy. Carry added to help ramp to Shieldred. Uh, Sun Glissa as well. What in the interesting cards we have Rangers class, which sees very little play in Pioneer. We have the brand new Lord Skitter's Blessing for a arena type effect. We also have Royal and uh, Treatment to help protect our stuff. That's pretty much the main board. Sideboard wise, though, we have four, two duresses for the controls and matchups and the um. Combo matchups, Damping Sphere for Lotus Field. We have Rave Enfeeblement for Grease Fang and Mono White. We have Abrupt Decay also for Mono White and potentially Spirits. We have Underdog as a Grindy Threat. Another Rangers class against Control, I'm assuming. We have a Meat Hook Massacre for the Aggro matchups with Extinction Event. Extinction Event also, of course, is for Green. Uh, we have Leyland of the Void for Graveyard Hate, which also is an enchantment that works quite well with the deck. And then we have group, Group's Harbinger for Rakdos Midrange, Black Base, Removal Decks. That is Golgari M Enchantment Midrange for Pioneer. Sweet deck. Let's get into the next. Next on my list is a Jess Guy's Ascendancy list. Um, the list that's in Pioneer, of course, um, plays uh, Emery looping with Helix or Rona looping with Helix. Uh, I weirdly enough, I don't see Rona in this list, so we don't I guess we don't really use it. We're gonna be using Emery, um, so that way, or actually any creature in general, we just um, just guys and see will keep untapping it as you cast a spell. Um, so that's quite sweet. Uh, this deck does occasionally put up results. It's not actually I don't think featuring any new cards. Yeah, it's not. So that is kind of a net negative to the deck. In my opinion, because I'm trying to talk about new cards most as much as I can to showcase and uh, tell you guys how to play the new cards in a competitive brew. It's a pretty stock list. I'm wondering if this deck, sh why I wonder why it's not playing um, Slide of Hand, but because that seems like the perfect card for this style deck. Sideboard wise, though, we have Volley for Spirits, Grease Fang, and Mono White. We have Destroy Evil for Rakdos Midrange. Justice Strike also potentially for Shieldred and Rakdos Midrange. We have Flames as a way to sweep away small threats. Uh, Bank Buster for the grinding matchups. We have a Pithy Needle for Karn. A Rip Apart for a little bit more removal or maybe Artifact Enchantment removal. Then we have Spell Pierce and Mystical Dispute for the control matchups. That is Jeskai's Ascendancy. I believe this deck got a uh, six and one record. So if you're interested in playing this style of combo deck, definitely get down in the description and check this deck out. Let's get into the next list. So next on my list is a Wish Beseech the Mirror uh, Harmless Offering deck. Uh, it can win on the back, of course, uh, Demonic Pact which we would just either give our opponent, we could beseech the mirror it or something else and then get a, the one of harmless offering because the card is not, honestly, it's not really all that good, right? You want something that could tutor for it. We have one in the sideboard as well that we can get with Wish for six mana and give our opponent some extra stuff. We have a lot of utility one drop spells in the sideboard for the Wish package. 
which is a card that really doesn't see a lot of Pioneer play right now. But ironically, we're playing Krabby Giant, which is a card I never really thought would be a Pioneer playable card. But it is in this deck because it makes a treasure token that you can sack to Besiege the Mirror. And it also helps you ramp into Demonic Pact early. So that's quite important, along with uh, Charming Scoundrel. We have Thought Seize, of course, and uh, Fatal Push. I, yeah, three copies of Push. One in the side, so that's pretty reasonable for a Wish target. But we have Fable in the Mirror Breaker, of course, because it's, it's the best red card in the format. And then, of course, we have the best black cards outside of Shieldren, but... I guess it's in the sideboard. There she is. <laughs> I guess we are playing all the best cards in Rakdos, along with Harmless Offering. Sideboard, we have a lot of one of Wish Targets, Alpine Moon for um, Lotus Field, Tormoth's Crypt for a three mana exile your opponent's graveyard, uh, Bolt in case we want to need to get a lane with it, Fatal Push for a little bit of removal in the festivities to wish for and kill all their elves, Pithing Needle to wish for. For Karn, we have Torch the Tower. I'm assuming this is a card that we could actually bring in main board if we need to see fit. Shielders Edict to get the Planeswalkers off the battlefield. Ashiok as the Graveyard Hate. Um, Brothers Hood in for aggro decks. Extinction Event also for aggro decks and Mono Green. Colgan's Command we could bring in for grinding matchups. Discard, Burn, and potentially Artifact Destruction. It's pretty reasonable. And a Shieldred. I don't think this deck will ever get up to 7 mana for that. I think it's more of something we bring in in certain matchups. Maybe cut back on Wrinkle's Prank for it. And then we can get her with uh, Beseech the Mirror. When we ex expect our opponent to sideboard out all of the creature removal. Because main board, the creature removal is not all that important. Uh, most of our threats aren't critical to our game plan. So this deck looks pretty awesome. I kind of wonder, I, oh, so Dark Steel Citadel is in here in the Treasure Vault as an artifact to get, that's a land, to sacrifice to Besiege the Mirror. Th there's some underlying strategies here that um, is quite interesting overall. If you guys are interested in this deck, check it out. Let's get into the next. So next on my list is honestly the deck that I think is the sweetest out of everything. And that is Gruel Scales for Pioneer. We're playing four Heart and Scales, two Awe of the List. Seems like the correct numbers. Uh, we only have playing two Cauldron, which is kind of weird. I, you would think you'd be playing at least three, but I guess that makes sense. We have uh, two Awe of the List, two Synthesizers, and this combo deck actually just works off of eating the Thrill Seeker to the Cauldron, and all of our stuff could potentially just pay one sack, bolt something, Four damage, whatever, how much damage. We have Steel Overseer, we could put it underneath the cauldron as well. Patchy to help grow. Apprentice is a nice one drop. I'm, I'm kind of curious. Uh is synthesizer is the right choice. Maybe it should be minus the synthesizer up a cauldron and up something else. But I'm intrigued to see how this deck actually plays. I might feature it relatively soon on the channel. Um, just because I think this deck is honestly awesome sideboard wise we have might for artifacts and enchantment removal that we could put underneath the cauldron two obliterating bolts for um mono red and of course potentially green because it does get troll we have a uh, three volleys as a way to hate on mono white blue and spirits pithing needle for the karn two sir gingers i'm not sure what matchup you're bringing that in um so that's kind of interesting i guess we have two Hurts for Graveyard Hate, one Bank Buster for grinding matchups, one uh, Evolutionary Leap as a way to um, cycle through our cards, get a different card. So it's kind of interesting with this deck because, I mean, you might want to sack the um, Steel Overseer so you can get underneath the Cauldron. And then we have a Clothus for a little bit more Graveyard Hate. It's also relatively decent against Control. That is Gruel Hardened Scales for Pioneer. Let's get into the next list. So next list I got a 5-0 is this weird life gain Heliod deck. It's been a minute since I've actually seen Heliod become 
a legit thing in Pioneer. So I am kind of interested to see how this deck actually can compete in the current state of Pioneer. We have a Bank Reckoner Bank Buster that we can uh, sacrifice the Spirit and give it indestructible. So I'm not sure if there, there's not really an infinite combo in this list I don't see. Uh, but we do have Kayla's Reconstruction to help dig get our he Heliods, Veteran, Savior, whatever. So I'm, I am, like I said, I'm very intrigued if, if there's a way we can get Bank Buster to Sprock and infinitely um, gain life or something. That was a huge thing in, in the standard version where we can infinitely target itself and gain infinite life. And it says any target. So that does work. Um, am I missing something? That's this indestructible savior is. Yeah. Oh, I guess you technically can with Heliod, right? So Heliod, give Be uh, Boris Reckoner lifelink, and then you just give it an indestructible and infinitely ping itself. There you go. That's pretty awesome of a win strategy. And we're also nick those decks, so we can get up to a decent chunk of mana for Cable's Reconstruction. But other than that, this deck is quite interesting. I think I've actually faced this deck before, probably after since this deck got a 5-0, just because somebody was trying to try it out and see if they can't compete with it. But sideboard-wise, we have Tomic as a way to fight through, I think, Lotus Field. We have Authority of the Consoles as a way to fight through aggro decks. Uh, invasion of Gomacon as a way to fight through Rakdos midrange, stuff like that. Skyclave appetizers we could bring in against aggro. We could maybe eat up our opponent's threats. Then we have more bodyguards as well. So I'm kind of intrigued to see how this deck actually plays out. Just due to the pure nature that we have so much quote unquote bodyguard slash apparitions, appetizers in the sideboard. But this deck looks pretty sick overall. If you're interested, give it a try and let me know how it goes. Let's get into the last list that I'm going to talk about today. So last on my list is a bar class list. So I am a huge advocate of this deck. I've played this deck multiple times on the channel. And I think this deck is one of the sweetest decks in Pioneer. Uh, we have two Targnars, a couple uh, Gallias, some Clothesis, one Agatha, Questing Druid. Weirdly, it seems like a weird inclusion. But it seems like it could fit. Hajar, three of four of and four rubies, because they are a quote unquote a combo. A ruby's a combo deck card. And uh, we have Burgi to also facilitate mana. We have our four bar classes, two Cedar Hope that should be able to get our bar class. So that's another dig spell for it. Only one Migalos, which is kind of weird, I guess. And then two Samuts, which I'm not sure if Samut is actually better than Migalos. But it can draw a lot of cards with the combination of Goro Goro, giving our stuff haste, smack and face. So that's a very interesting little synergy. Sideboard wise, we have another Clothus for Graveyard Hate. We have Silax for the aggro matchups. Bali for Model White, Blue, and Spirits. Shadow Spear for aggro as well. We could bring in, gain a bunch of life. Pithing Needle to help fight through um, Karn. Also, Shadow Spear, I'm pretty sure. Turns off Hexproof. So that plus Besaju gets a Lotus Field. So that's kind of interesting. And also you could technically Besaju after your Alpine Moon. Turn the Lotus Field into something else. Then we have a Stone Brain for combo decks. And uh, we have a Jengatha we can get out of the board. Another I mean, We have Ruik the Thar as a way to damage our opponent when they cast a bunch of spout on creature spells. So that's also a sweet include. I wish Ruixar actually had a competitive list in the format because I like that card. I've always liked him as a six drop with Vigilance and Reach, which is pretty powerful. So let me know down in the comment section what deck I said are you most interested in seeing because I do want to play these decks, try them out, see how, see how competitive they are um, through a league. But outside of that, there's also a link to my Discord channel. Join it if you like. And don't forget, before you head out that door, to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. So you can go for future videos. And until next time, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, talk to you soon.